Hey guys, it's Danielle from Blissful Domestic and today I wanted to take you guys on a quick tour of the um, goodies that I got at the case lot sale. Um, I wrote about a lot of the stuff I got in a post on my blog and I wanted to include a video so that if you, you know, if you just do YouTube then you can um, hear about the stuff that we got, how much we paid for it, and what we're going to use it for. But then if you like blog posts better, then I did it that way too. So you can like pick which one. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm also going to show you, I'm in my kitchen, so I'll show you where we're storing it um, and stuff like that. But so if you don't know what the case lot sale is at Smith's, um, it's basically you get to buy cases of food. They're at cheaper prices and you're able just to stock up. It's a great way to be able to buy in bulk, stock up and stuff like that. And so... Um, this one I actually didn't realize that the case lot sale was this month, but then I follow the life of a homemaker, I believe is her name on Instagram. And sorry, but my hand off. Um, because she had posted about the case lot sale, it reminded me that it was this month. So I was able to check out the ad online and then I went the next day. Um, the money that we use for the case lot sale, sometimes we um at the beginning of the year, usually when we get our tax return, we try to save a little bit to go towards food storage and stocking up throughout the year. Um, but I actually chose to take part of our grocery budget this month, and that's what I used for um, buying our bulk case, our cases this month. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'll show you what we got. All right, guys. So we are in my kitchen, and it looks a little bit different if you guys have seen in one of my tours. We, we used to have a, a fridge over here, and we like moved it around. Um, cause we've been really, really de-junking and it ended up that where, f where the fridge was, we had a cabinet there, we didn't need it anymore. So that's why things may look a little bit differently. But so we've been kind of trying to junk minimalize things. But so anyways, buy my fridge because we, if you don't know, we live in a fixer upper, um, it's a constant project. And so the cabinets yes. by the sink have not been completed. And so we just use it for storage. So on the left where you see those five gallon buckets, those are food grade buckets. We store beans in and grains, stuff like that. On the right, we used to have our trash can, but I ended up moving that when we moved the fridge. So I then had this empty space, and I thought, you know what? What a great way or space to be able to put food storage things in. And so that's where um, I ended up putting pretty much most of the stuff that we got at the Kate Slot sale. Um, so the two boxes right there, those are Langer's apple juice. Um, we love apple juice. Um, we use it for smoothies and, you know, if anyone ever gets sick, I feel like apple juice or just juice in general is something that you can usually get your kids to drink. Um, especially when they have the flu or something like that. Juice is usually what they want. So we try to have it in stock. Um, so I was able to get... Each of the cases were $12 each. There's eight, um, is it eight? Because they ended up being, the apple juice was $1.50 a piece. And they're, these ones, the Langer's apple juice, it's 64 flow ounces. So there's eight in each box. And so um, those are going to hopefully last us for a little while. Down here, I ended up getting, these are canned mushrooms. Um, I like to use fresh mushrooms, but I also like to have a lot of the vegetables that we use um, on a daily basis. I like to have them also a few in either canned or freezer because sometimes, you know, the fresh price is not something that we can afford at that time. Or sometimes it's just really tight and we need to eat from our food storage. So having things like these... We still get our veggies in, and we're still able to stretch our grocery budget. Um, I also like having some of the canned stuff because it's very easy to throw into casseroles and stuff like that. So I ended up getting, um, I want to say, I think I got 24 of the cans of mushrooms. They were 69 cents each, and I ended up saving 20 cents on every single can. In the back, on top, I have pears, and I have peaches, and I have another thing of peaches on the bottom that were from a case lot sale I had done... Um, three months ago and so so this time around I just got another case of pears and another case of peaches because um, we love peaches and pears we typically do not sometimes we buy them fresh because that happens to be a pricier fruit um, we just do the canned but so let's see where my if I can 
Let's zoom in on this. I'm um, using the Kroger fruit. That's the mandarin orange. Okay. Pears right there. You can see they were $21.60 for a case. We saved $9.36 on it. Um, and that was the same for the peaches. Um, I'll show you this. Kroger fruit is the mandarin oranges that they didn't have in the... Um, like the case packaging. So I had to buy it individually. That's where you see the 50 cents a piece and we saved 29 cents. But so that's what's over here. The pancake mix that's in the back, I actually have blog posts scheduled, I think next week, talking about this, just why I have this in food storage. Uh, you know, it's such a great pantry staple. The expiration date on this is in two years. I mean, that's something that it's shelf stable. Um, I don't have to add anything to it but water. So this is definitely something I like to have in food storage um, or in our pantry because you know what, when you have times when money's tight and you you know, you know can't go buy new groceries and you're running out of things, pancakes are something that they're filling and when you only have to add water to it, that's awesome. So, But I have a blog post coming up about that. But so, so over here is where um, you can see I have all the mandarin oranges that we got. The blue ones are the newer ones. Um, let's see if I can focus on that. There we go. I bought my canned fruit from Smith's. I like to get the light because they're canned in actual juice. They're not in the heavy syrup. And so that's what I try to look for. If I can just get it as basic as I can so we don't have all the extra sugar. Um, and the sugar, it's 10 grams in this. And I want to say it was either, it was like double. Or actually, I could show you right here. It is double. Here's one that we had before that was not the light. And you can see the sugars are 20 grams. Um, and this one's in the light syrup. So you can imagine the sugar content in the heavy syrup. So that's why we started switching to light. Um, so those reach 50 cents. Over here, we have, these are the soups that we actually um, have down here on the bottom, if I can, it's kind of hard to see because we have a lot of stuff over here, but I ended up getting two cases of the Campbell's Chunky Soup. They were um, $12 for a case, 12 cans of soup in a package, so they ended up being a dollar a piece. I ended up getting New England Clam Chowder and Hearty Chicken Noodle Soup. I love those again for when you're sick or just you need a quick meal time gets away from you, you're not able to make dinner, whether you, um, you know when mom gets sick, that's just that's not good for anyone and we need to be able to do dinner and stuff. So having those soups has really been a blessing. Um, and so that was one of the things that we got. So the last few things that we got that I didn't show you were we ended up getting six um, cake mixes. Two I'll be using for my daughter's birthday. Four I just got for when time is crazy, we need a treat or something like that for family meeting and I'm not able to make something completely from scratch. I like to have those just little saving graces. Um, we also got, how many did I get? I got three, four boxes of the Kroger Instant Oatmeal. Now I know that you can make your own packets and stuff like that, but right now I have not made them. Um, I like the convenience of the kids being able, they're just they're there. Um, it was $1.39 a box, and we got a few different flavors. I like that the kids can make their own oatmeal and stuff like that, rather than me having to supervise them at the stove or something like that. So we got a few of those. Um, all together, at the case lot sale, I ended up spending $128.32, and we saved $75.05. So this was a great food haul for us. These things are going to last us for quite a while. Um... And so just, you know, looking for those sales, finding things that your family actually uses, those are great things to stock up on. And you know, when you go set a budget, I had a budget in mind, and so I stuck with that, went through with my calculator, and I was able to find things that my family uses every day. So I hope that you guys liked this haul. I know it was a quick video. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see and what you're interested in, if you guys have any questions, and I will talk to you later. Bye.